This is your lucky day. I'm going to read Diary of a Worm to you. Do you know how excited I am? This story is written by Doreen Cronin. Diary of a Worm. March 20th. Mom says there are three things I should always remember. One, the earth gives us everything we need. Two, when we dig tunnels, we help take care of the earth. Must make tunnel, help earth breathe. And three, never bother daddy when he's eating the newspaper. Chomp, chomp, chomp. March 29th. Today I tried to teach Spider how to dig. First of all, his legs got stuck. I think I've twisted one of my ankles. And then he swallowed a bunch of dirt. I give up. Tomorrow he's going to teach me how to walk upside down. March 30th, worms cannot walk upside down. April 4th, fishing season started today. We all dug deeper. Did you guys hear something? April 10th, it rained all night and the ground was soaked and we spent the entire day on the sidewalk. Hopscotch is a very dangerous game. April 15th, I forgot my lunch today. I got so hungry that I ate my homework. My teacher made me write, I will not eat my homework, 10 times. And when I was finished, I ate that too. April 20th, I snuck up on some kids in the park today. They didn't hear me coming. I wiggled up right between them and then they screamed. I love when they do that. May 1st, Grandpa taught us that good manners are very important. So today I said good morning to the first aunt I saw. Good morning. And then there were 600 more of them in line. Good morning, good morning, how you doing? Good morning, nice to see you, howdy, good morning. I stood there all day. May 8th, had the worst nightmare last night. Giant birds playing hopscotch. Mom says I have to eat, stop eating so much garbage right before I go to bed. May 15th, I got into a fight with Spider today. He told me, you need legs to be cool. Then he ran and I couldn't keep up. Maybe he's right. May 16th, I made Spider laugh so hard he fell out of his tree. Who needs legs? Thud. May 28th, last night I went to the school dance. You put your head in, you put your head out, you do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself about, and that's all we could do. June 5th, today we made macaroni necklaces in art class. I brought mine home and we ate it for dinner. You're very talented. June 15th, my older sister thinks she's so pretty. I told her that no matter how much time she spends looking in the mirror, her face will always look just like her rear end. Spider thought that was really funny. Mom did not. July 4th, when I grow up I want to be a Secret Service agent. And Spider says I will have to be very careful because the president might step on me by mistake. It's a dangerous job, I told him, but someone's got to do it. July 28th. 
Three things I don't like about being a worm. One, I can't chew gum. Two, I can't have a dog. Can we keep them, Mom? And three, all that homework. July 29th, three good things about being a worm. One, I never have to go to the dentist. No cavities, no teeth either. Two, I never get in trouble for tracking mud through the house. And three, I never have to take a bath. Who's my grubby little boy? August 1st. It's not always easy being a worm. We're very small and sometimes people forget that we're even here. But like mom always says, the earth never forgets we're here. Here's some pictures at the end. It says, a bee stung me. Isn't this leaf awesome? I found this really cool rock. Mom and Dad's anniversary, gross. Um, my own comic, my sister's slumber party, hee <laughs> hee, and my favorite pile of dirt. And that is the Diary of a Worm. See you next time.